Welcome back to KRQE News 13, your local election headquarters. The election results are continuing to pour in this evening, including the race for the U.S. Senate between Democratic incumbent Martin Heinrich and his Republican challenger, Nella Domenici. Let's take a look at those numbers. Right now, Martin Heinrich with uh, a substantial lead, certainly not in the double digits, but a, a sizable lead at this hour. We should caution that these are early numbers and uh, not even half the votes have been counted so far, so these numbers could change. Of course, this is one of those races. Martin Heinrich, a two-term U.S. Senator and a Democrat seeking a third term. Uh, with a long history of public service uh, in New Mexico, he served as a, a city councilor here in Albuquerque, also a U.S. representative from District 1. And as I said, two terms as a senator being challenged by Nella Domenici, who is the uh, or was the chief financial officer of Bridgewater. That is a, a multi-billion dollar hedge fund. She also, of course, famously is the daughter of Pete Domenici, the longest serving senator from New Mexico at 36 years. So this one, uh, Martin Heinrich with an advantage right now, but we'll have to watch throughout the evening as more votes come in to see where this ends up. We should tell you there was some early polling that had Heinrich uh, ahead by as many as double digits, maybe 10 or 12 points. So this may be fairly good news for Nella Domenici this evening. Let's head out now to the Martin Heinrich camp where Gabrielle Burkhardt has been uh, this evening tracking things. Gabby, what's the latest? Yeah, Dean, things are just getting started here at Isleta, where Democratic incumbent Martin Heinrich, as you said, uh, he spent the last week visiting cities across New Mexico, stressing the importance of voting in this election. And when I asked him the obvious question, why he's seeking a third term, he said, quote, as you accrue seniority in the Senate, you can get more done for your state. Now, as far as what he'd like to get done, Heinrich tells me he's focused on bringing more manufacturing jobs to the state, working on energy projects, and that he'll be in a position to chair the Energy and Natural Resources Committee if he wins a third term. Now, when it comes to crime and the border, Senator Heinrich points to providing scanning technology at our ports of entry to help stop the flow of fentanyl into New Mexico. Despite criticism from Republicans on those issues, Heinrich holds a solid lead in the polls, but we'll continue to watch those numbers and bring you all the latest on air and online. For now, KRQE's Gabe Chavez has been covering Republican challenger Nella Domenici. Gabe, how's it looking over there? Well, Gabby, the energy tonight is electric. There is tons of people in the room tonight. Now, Nella Domenici is Senator Heinrich's competitor and met with voters late last night for a rally of her own. Now, Domenici has criticized Democrats' handling of the border. Now, another one of the major topics in this election was abortion. Now, Domenici has stated in the past that she does not support a nationwide abortion ban, but says that she does agree with the Supreme Court's decision that may have the states make that decision. Now, it is still pretty early on in the night, and we will keep you updated throughout the night as polls have recently closed as of 7 o'clock. For now, we'll toss things back over to Dean in the studio. All right, Gabe, thank you. We want to reiterate uh, Heinrich ahead by six points at this hour, but it is very early. I think we're talking about uh, just in the teens in terms of the percentage of the vote that has been counted. Of course, we'll keep you updated on this race and all the races here in New Mexico and nationally right here on KRQE News 13. Keep it here for the very latest.